Hey, I'm Rhett, and today I'm going to show you how to take that energetic acoustic guitar sound that Whipski by Snod and Little Skies has and use it to make better beats of your own. I'll also give you some free loops if you stick to the end. With that said, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I want to show you before you decide if you're going to take my advice on this is the final melody I created using the simple section later in this video. If you like the melody, then stick around because I get a bunch of tips for you. And if not, well, maybe you'd be more interested in learning how to make a guitar melody like Montero by Lil Nas X. Anyways, here's the final melody. Whipski's melody has one main element, and that is the guitar melody. So let's break it down. This beat was made at 94 BPM, by the way. Step one, which note should I use? When it comes to guitar beats, especially rhythmic guitar beats like this one, you want to look at your piano roll and keep in mind that you're not going to use the full bar chords. You usually will add a hammer on right here where the claps would go, which means that your chord will stop here. And after that, you can just leave this whole part empty. So you either add a top melody or add another chord starting here. So instead of looking at a chord progression like this, like we usually would on a trap beat, our progression is going to look more like this. Well, now that we know where to place our chords, let's decide which notes we'll use. So for that, add a harmonic minor scale, that is the best scale for guitar beats. In this case, I don't want our final melody to be too close to being a clone of Whipski, so I'm going to use a natural minor scale. Now add a 3 or 4 descending root note progression. By that I mean add your notes in this spaces and make sure they are going down. You can add 3 or 4 Whipski uses only three, I'm going to use four. Now to make chords out of that, do this. You see these highlighted notes here? Well, those are our diatonic notes, meaning notes that are in scales. So to build a chord, you want the first one, the third, and the fifth one. So simply count. This would be the first, so then this would be the third, and then this would be the fifth. The same applies for all the other chords. But stop, these are chords, but they won't sound realistic. The thing is that in a guitar, the notes are placed in such a way that the notes in a chord won't be played exactly like this. So if you want your chords to sound more realistic, highlight the thirds and bring them up an octave. And to make them sound even more realistic, you want to add a seventh to those chords. So if this was the fifth, then two spaces above it would be the seventh and copy and paste that to the rest of the chords. That's looking much better. So if you want to make a guitar chord progression like this one, these are the things you need to keep in mind. Use a harmonic minor scale, descending chord progression. First and third chords last one beat, second and fourth last two and a half beats. That last thing is the rhythm you want to follow. This thing I mean. One beat, two and a half beats. Step two, where to place those notes. Now this heavily relies on what type of beat you're going to make, but there are a couple of rules of thumb you might want to consider before deciding on a melody. For the first one, let your root note play alone for about half a beat. This is a classic guitar introduction trick. Whipski uses it and my melody is going to use it as well. Two, add a hammer on sound effect in the places where the claps would go, of course, so that it sounds like you played it in an actual acoustic guitar. By that, I mean this uh, guitar is stopping sound effect. 3. Add at some point that string hammer on sound effect. It makes your melody sound so much more complex than it actually is. By that I mean this sound. And lastly, don't add too much on the third chord. Usually here our melody rests for a bit. These are just tips, not rules or anything, but definitely consider them next time. For the sound selection, I'm going to use a real acoustic guitar. But if you want a free VST, the best one I can recommend is the DSK Dynamic Guitars. It's free and pretty good, so go check it out. This is the melody I came up with using those tips. You hear how the first one starts alone, then the stopping effect, and lastly, the string thing I told you about. Now that's about it for the main melody. Now we need more stuff to make this feel complete, so let's get right to that. The first thing I want to add is this sound effect. 
I've heard it in a bunch of beats like this and I feel like it gives the melody a much more energetic feel so let's add that. A bit of EQ, some reverb and done. Now I want to add some vocals to play near the end of the bar. For that I'm going to use the hook preset on Arcade and add this progression. Now add this effect to that, some reverb, RC20 and lastly I'm going to cut out everything under 500Hz and everything over uh, 5kHz to give it that old radio effect. Now we need some drums. I'm going for kind of a Brackens vibe. He's an up and coming artist who has kind of a distorted acoustic sound that I really enjoy. So let me just add some hard 808s, a simple clap and this hi-hat pattern. Perfect, and done! That's how to make an acoustic guitar melody like Whipski by Snot. Before I play you the final beat, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. It's royalty free, so you can use it however you want. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more tips on how to make better melodies, subscribe, and as always, see ya!